Let's talk about some brass that kicks some ass. General Norman Coda. On D-Day in Normandy, there was one 51-year-old man waving around a cigar and yelling at his men. Ooh, I like this guy already. That man was General Norman Coda, the oldest man to storm the beaches that day. Gentlemen, we are being killed on the beaches, he yelled. Let us go inland and be killed. <laughs> that same day, he was the first to say, Rangers, lead the way. When he came upon the 5th Ranger Battalion amidst heavy fire, he rallied those Rangers and led them up the beach, through a gap in the fence, and up a steep bluff to take out one of the gun embankments. His action that day earned him a Distinguished Service Cross. General Koda was a hard ass of the highest order, and was known for his incredible leadership and insane bravery. He could beat the sun at a staring contest, and could piss his name into dry concrete. <laughs> he was a true ball smasher. The very next day, after a daunting battle on Omaha Beach, Coda happened upon a group of infantry pinned down by German gunfire. The men were firing behind stone walls, and the Germans were firing from a house. He asked the captain why they weren't taking down the house. Sir, the Germans are in there, shooting at us, he replied. Well, I'll tell you what, Captain, said Coda, grabbing grenades from his jacket. You and your men start shooting at them, and watch carefully. I'll show you how to take a house with Germans in it. He then led a squad up to the house and tossed grenades into the windows, yelling like a madman. He then sprinted through the door as the last few living Germans in the house fled for their lives out the back. General Coda strutted back to the captain and said, You've seen how to take a house. Do you understand? Do you know how to do it now? The captain replied, Yes, sir. Well, I won't be around to do it for you again, Coda said. I can't do it for everybody. General Coda was the kind of general that you would see in a movie. So eventually, he got to see Robert Mitchum play him in The Longest Day before he died in 1971. He was a pretty quotable general to begin with, so writing his character to be a hard ass was probably the easiest job these writers ever had. Rangers lead the way! <laughs> Well, I guess that's it. It's all the badasses that ever lived. Well, this has been Violent But True Bedtime Stories with the First Sergeant. It's been a lot of fun. Bye.